In this sample, we use the store underscore db database with a specific table. Its name is users and uh, this specific table should hold all username and password that uh, can access the system. Currently the table has one row only with the username David and the password Michael. This sample also includes two files. The first is a login form.html where the user uh, needs to enter the username and the password and then those two values are passed, are sent to the login page.php file. The login page.php file simply um, verify that the entered username and password are correct. It does it using a simple SQL query. Let's see how it works. This is the form. Let's try to enter bad username and, bad and, and, and password and get the failure message. And if we want to get a successful message, we should enter David and Michael. Let's see how it works. Here it is. We get a successful message. Now let's see the way an hacker can access this specific uh, system by um, doing uh, what we call an SQL injection. All the hacker needs to do is enter as the password this specific value. It can enter as a username anything you want. Let's see how it works. You can enter anything as the username and as the password we can enter this specific um, value and when we execute it we shall get a successful message. So in a way an hacker can um, access our system without knowing the username and the password. What exactly happened? If we take a look at the code and this is the code and try to analyze it we shall see that if this is the specific entered password, it doesn't matter uh, which username was entered, the logic expression that as long as it is true, as it is true, we get the row and actually we get all rows in this case when we enter this as a password, the logical expression, if we take a look at it, we can see that we have um, a logic expression that includes two parts. This part and then this part. Um, in order to understand what happens, you first need to understand that th the AND operator is executed before the OR. So uh, this is one expression we need to know its value and this is another. Well, about this one, we of course get uh, false, but uh, this one is always true. So the whole logic expression is true, which means that uh, this specific query actually returns all rows the table includes. So when we take a look at the code, we actually do succeed to receive um, a result set when we execute this uh, uh, SQL um, statement. So this condition is true and we get a logging success message.